Okay there, hello everybody. This is uh, Dark Vexa, aka Dragline. Uh, this is just a quick video tutorial here on how to use and set up the browser within FL Studio. Um, real, just getting right down to it. The browser is a place where you'll keep uh, shortcuts to the directories that contain all the samples that you need to access to quickly within FL Studio. Um, and what I've done, this is what I recommend doing, to, so you can be able to access the things that that you need to quickly and uh, just go into your my documents and create a folder in there called FL Studio. Real simple. So you can then after you create this studio or the studio this uh, directory simply drag it into your browser. When you drag it into your browser it'll be set up here automatically and you can access it quickly and you can do that for any directory that you create anywhere on your computer um, and that's the simple way to set it up um, you can also go into your options within FL Studio file settings and this is where you can also add directories just click the directory icon browse to it on your computer and then click OK when you do that it'll automatically put it in your browser and then over here under name you can change how you want it to appear within the browser you know I can just type in a bunch of stuff here and after you do that you do have to click the reread structure button which means it's going to rescan the structure and update it and notice how it just updated this folder to be named all these random keys that I just typed in. So that uh, that way you can kind of distinguish it from the other directories that uh, FL Studio natively has in the browser. So you can distinguish between yours and its real fast. And I do that. I just simply put a bunch of parentheses around my folders, make them all in caps, and then they just tend to all reside at the top of the browser so I can access them fast. Uh, because the browser will organize things alphabetically. So if you put the parentheses around them, it's going to send them all to the top. So that's what I do. And then I also make them in full caps so I can get to them quick. And then I can just open one, browse to where I need to go, find my sample, and then I can drag it over into my channel and get to using it right away. And that's about it for this tutorial. Real simple, huh? Cool. Later.